everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to do my mid-year freakout tag, 2023 edition. I've been doing this tag since like, I wanna say 2017, 2018, somewhere around there. I will link my previous uh, videos of this tag down below, as well as the creators of this tag. And yeah, let's get started to, you know, answer the 14 questions. To summarize, as of filming days in June, I've only finished 23 books. So I didn't really have a lot of books to choose from when it comes to answering the questions. Um, I read a lot of books that I thought were just so-so this year. So it's hard to answer the questions, but I'm gonna try. Question number one, which is the b best book you've read so far in the year 2023? I have two answers for this one actually. And that is A Time of Blood by John Gwynn. This is the second book in it of Blood and Bone series. Definitely a very good continuation and I really love the characters. And then we also have Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. This was the first um, secret project novel from his um, Kickstarter project and really good book, let me tell you. Question number two, best sequel you have read so far in 2023? Honestly, I've only read three sequels so far this year. They were all kind of just like three, 3.5 stars, and um, I don't really feel like they were <laughs> worth mentioning as best sequel. So I guess I'm just gonna say that I need to read more sequels in this uh, second half of the year to, you know, make up for that. So we'll see about it. And question number three, new release that you haven't read yet, but you want to, and that will be God Killer by Hannah Kainer. and. I feel like I have so many answers to this question. I wanna read them all, honestly. Um, but yeah, I haven't even bought this book. I was so close to bu buying it, like literally yesterday, but trying to save money, so I only bought two books and one was not that expensive. So maybe my next book haul. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is about gods. People killing gods, which is definitely, you know, in the title so you get that but i love books about gods and mythology and everything like that so i need to read this and also the cover is to die for and then question number four most anticipated release for the second half of 2023 for this one i'm definitely going to say defiant by brandon sanderson this is the fourth and final book in the skyward um quartet um and i didn't like the third book as much as the first two but it's Brandon Sanderson. Even like a disappointing read from him is still going to be pretty darn good. So, and I do need to, to read more sci-fi, I feel like. So I think this will be an awesome finish of the year since I think this one is going to be released in November. So I'm really looking forward to that one. And the second book is The Secret Project Number 3 by Brandon Sanderson, which will be released July, I think very soon at least i think um i don't even know the name of this book yet i don't want to find out so don't tell me um but yeah it's brandon sanderson and i feel like the year of sanderson has finally arrived and i'm here for it then going straight to contradict myself number five biggest disappointment and for this one i'm going to say bastille versus the evil librarians by brandon sanderson this is the final book in Atras vs. the Evil Librarian series, his only middle grade series so far. I really do hope he writes more. Um, I've been waiting for this book for years, literally, and I was very disappointed because I didn't really like Bastille's voice in the book. I found her kind of... well, she sounded a little bit more like Alcatraz than she should have. Uh, she lost a lot of her kick-assness and just sort of like got very emotional and stuff and I just very disappointed. And then number six, biggest surprise. And for this one, I'm going to say Beyond the One by Tom Felton. This was his uh, autobiography about his life and his, you know, childhood, getting into acting and everything like that. And I mean, I have read a couple of autobiographies at this point, not too, too many, to be honest. Um, 
but I feel like he had a really good voice. It was a very quick read, which I was definitely not expecting because I've definitely struggled through autobiography fees before. So yeah, I really enjoyed it and that, I guess, surprised me. Um, but yeah, it was interesting. Question number seven, new favorite author. And I don't want to like officially go onto the page saying she's a new author because I've only read one book. But it looks promising, I feel like. And that is Christian Hanna, uh, since I read The Nightingale this year. Um, since I've only read one book, I don't want to say officially she's a new favorite author. But I really did enjoy that uh, book and really like her writing style. So I do feel like she has the potential of becoming a new favorite author in the genre of historical fiction, if that makes sense. Question number eight, newest fictional crush. For this one, I'm going to be very basic and boring and say I don't usually get bookish crushes or crushes in general, I guess. Um, so I don't have a new one for this year because I've only read 23 books. A lot of the books I haven't enjoyed that much. So, you know, don't have one. Sorry. Question number nine, newest favorite character. And for this one, I'm going to say Drem and Riv from the Of Blood and Bone series by John Gwynn. I read the second book as of this year. It was the first book I ended up finishing because I had a little bit left when the year ended. Um, so I feel comfortable in saying that since it's the second book of the series. I definitely want to continue on with it and find out what's going to happen to these characters. Number 10, book that made you cry, The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. Books don't usually make me cry, so if they manage to do that, I will remember the book for sure. Question number 11, book that made you happy. And this one was really hard to answer, I feel like, but I ended up choosing Tilly and the Book Wanderer by Anna James. It's the first book in the Pages and Co series. This is a middle grade book. Um, it's about books and the bookstore. Like, you get where I'm going with this? And also, it's book wanderers. Like, they go into different literary uh, stories and characters from some of my favorite classics come out of the story and the main character meets them. I love that stuff. <laughs> so that made me really happy. So I guess that's my answer. Question number 12 most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received. For this one, I'm going to say The Adventure of Amin al-Sirafi by Shannon Chakraborty or S.A. Chakraborty, um, which is definitely a mouthful when it comes to saying the title. But I just bought this book and it's such like beautiful gold foiling. I love it. And it's also about pirates, which makes the book somehow even more beautiful to me. Then we come to the second to last question, and that is number 13. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? For this one, I'm gonna say A Time of Courage by John Gwynn. It's the third and final book in the Of Blood and Bone series, like I mentioned before. <sighs> I picked this one up, like straight after finishing the second one, cause I was hooked. And then I ended up reading something else for whatever reason and I just need to continue on with the series. I need to finish it so I can dive head on first into his next series which is supposed to be a sort of inspired by Norse mythology and I just live for John Quinn right now so I really need to read this book because I want to know what's gonna happen and it was such like bloodbath in the second book so I need to know who's making it out alive. Just tell me please. Don't. Uh, and also, all the rest of the books that are on my self-destruct list, which I'm supposed to have read by like October 9th or something, I have, I think, I have like eight books left. So it's not going great because I've only read four. So <laughs> I should pick it up a notch. But mm, one of the books, at least I've planned for a reading log very soon. So I will downsize it, I guess. It's very soon. And then question number 14, favorite book community member. Um, I do follow so many, but I figured I'd just mention one of the creators that I recently stumbled across, which I've also told my friend Jamie to go follow because I thought she'd like her as well. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Sydney from Sid Book Worm, uh, who I just accidentally stumbled across from like the recommendation part of um youtube so i've been watching a couple of her videos she loves john gwen she loves brandon sanderson i feel like we have a lot of books and authors in common so 
yeah and also she has an awesome personality and she doesn't have an annoying voice <laughs> which is usually what makes me follow someone if they don't have an annoying voice like it sounds stupid but i'm pretty sure everybody thinks like that no matter if you're like aware of it or not um so yeah i will definitely link her channel down below if you are not already following her uh, but yeah, these were all of the questions for this time. I don't really know if I gave you a <laughs> good enough answer this time. Since I haven't read that many books, it's harder to answer the question this year. So yeah, hopefully we'll go better by the <laughs> sort of end of the year book tag I'll do later in the year. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it's somewhat wrapped up what I've read so far this year. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day or a night and I hope we see you in the next one. Bye!